sun and the rain fell from up above and landed on the earth below in my garden of love. Now there's a rose for the way my spirits rose when we met. A forget me not to remind me to remember not to forget. A pine tree for the way I pine over you and an ash for the day I asked you to be true and the sun and the rain fell from up above and landed on the earth below in my garden of love. Now there's a palm tree that we planted when we had our first date. A turnip for the way you always used to turn up late. Your mother and your cousin Chris, they often used to come. So in their honor, I have raised a nice Chris and the mum and the sun and the rain fell from up above and landed on the earth below in my garden of love. Now there's a beetroot for the day you said that you'd be true to me. A sweet pea for the sweet way you always smiled at me. But you had friends who needed you. There was Ferdy, there was Liza. So just for them, I put down a load of fertilizer and the sun and the rain fell from up above and landed on the earth below in my garden of love. But Gus the gardener's left now and you went with him too. The fungus there reminds me of the fungus he's having with you. Now the rockery's a mockery with weeds it's overgrown. The fuchsia's gone, I couldn't face the fuchsia all alone. And my tears fell like raindrops from the sky above and poisoned all the flowers in my garden of love. If any photographers out there want to get to somewhere where there's quite a lot of glass and metal and lights, Darsby's great. I've not managed to sort of get much from there yet, but it's probably down to my photography than the uh, subjects available. This is where I took the last shot where you saw the three buildings with the lights around. And this area is quite boring, quite mundane. This is a police station, quite boring in the day. Uh, from ground level but you go there at night and put the drone up and it's great so this is what I was doing I was just doing a recce the drone code says that uh, if you're gonna fly at night then go and do a recce to make sure that there's no wires or obstacles or, or um, uh, masts and so on so that that's all I was doing I was just spending um, well I reckon it would have been only been there about five minutes uh, just have a look around put the drone up and have a look around uh, but ended up staying for about uh, half an hour because of uh, the people that approached me. I wasn't actually prepared for anybody today. I didn't have my GoPro on, or I uh, just had my um, the DSLR. Hence the the uh, it wavering around a lot. It's just not hanging from from my neck. But one in every three visits whether I'm auditing or not, will result in security or police or occupants of buildings coming out. And that's why I don't think auditing is a fad. It is a constant battle. It is something that's going to have to be done constantly because it's like an assembly line of entitled idiots coming towards you 
and they you know <laughs> they're not going to exhaust themselves these these people breed Hello there. Just um, curious as to what you're up to. Taking photographs. Of, uh, of what? Anything I can see. Okay. Uh, anything in that building back there, the D3T building? Anything I can see. For what purpose? Well, that's private. It <laughs> well, says what's in that building. I can't, it's not x ray, so. <laughs> okay. It, it, it hits the walls and the glass and get the photons off that. So if you've got anything in the building that's private, it will remain private. Okay. Obviously, we're, do you know what we do in that building? Not a lot, if you're all out here. No, there's hundred odd people in the building, we're only three of them. But do you, do you know what goes on in that building? Not really. Okay, well we develop computer games. You develop? Computer games. Oh, fantastic. Which are confidential. All right. And haven't been disclosed to the public. So okay. obviously, when we find people pointing cameras, and yeah. our windows, we, there's concern. Okay. When you say when we find people, it's almost as if <laughs> that's that's sort of almost you're maligning me by suggesting I'm to be found. You're being very defensive, are you? Being very defensive? No, no, no. I feel like it's you. We or, I haven't come to you. Talking to you. If we hadn't found you, pointing a camera. That's no, you building. haven't found me. Yes, we you've We've noted. You you've observed me yeah. photographing in public. What's the difference? Well, because it it, it sounds quite sort of. It sounds quite as if I'm in the wrong by, by you found me. We're trying to establish if I, if, I, if I suggested to you, if I found you walking past my house, would that sound okay? Or would yeah, that sound a little perfectly bit... perfectly okay walking past your house. Exactly. And in the same way, I'm perfectly okay taking photographs from a public footpath. Okay. So we call the police now and ask them to remove you because we're concerned about what you've done. Yeah. You'll be okay with that. Yeah, but they won't. They'll tell you to jog on because public photography is not against the law and they have better things to do with the time. They'll say if you have anything going on in that building, which I didn't know about actually until you just said, then well, it's that's... Surprised. It's, it's not secret what we do. D3T is games that they Well, you know, I'm going to fess up here. I think the last game I played was Donkey Kong like 30 years ago, so... That wasn't us. Okay. No. Right, well, okay. No, you—you're probably still can, at college you, then. Can you understand why we're concerned? No, not at all. Um, I think you—I think—I think you have to understand people have rights, and whatever's going on in your little office shouldn't impact on their rights, surely. Should it? No, no. It, well, I can't—I can't understand this. Is that when I try to counter what you're saying, I'm defensive. I mean, when defending my position, that—that's that, obvious. Makes us think you're up to no good, mate. Well, I, I, I can't change that. You, you sound like you're very suspicious, but yeah, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> but 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 All also. Right. So we don't want to see that flying anywhere over near our building. Okay, well that's okay. You better go inside and close your eyes because it's going right over your building. Okay. I can't. I can't believe that you would say that. That's quite confrontational. That to say we don't want to see that. I would never say to you something like that. I wouldn't say to you, I don't want to see you. you. Take as much offense as you like. I don't, I don't, I don't want, want to see, to see you. Well, well then you better go inside and close your eyes then, because it's right. going over. In fact, I wasn't going to put it over, I'm going to put it over now. Now you're being a child. No. Oh. <laughs> Harassment? Yeah. I've been stood here taking you photographs. Can stand outside my house and take pictures okay. of my house from the outside without me calling the police. Yeah. And having a problem with that, it's the same for this business. Okay. So I, I, I think you should remove yourself from the area because this company won't like it either. Oh dear. <laughs> I can just feel a load of people watching this from her office cringing at what she's saying now. To think that she was actually in one of these windows uh, and I was at the entrance and I'm just walking past. I was there probably no longer than 15 seconds. And I took a couple of snaps because it's quite an interesting building with a spiral staircase at either side. And from above, it might look interesting. And even from the front, if, it's, uh, if the sun catches it in a certain way, though all those windows might make it quite attractive as well. But I just moved on up the road. And, and so she must have strained herself to look out and see me and then wanted to come out and tell me how harassed she was. What a silly woman. Now, ironically, the neighbours that uh, 
our friend Eleanor is talking about here is DCBL. Now DCBL are probably better known as the Can't Pay Take It Away crew. Uh, and it's quite ironic really because these guys used to go into people's properties wearing body cameras, not for protection, as they said, because they weren't provided by their own firm. It was provided by Channel 5 to basically collect interesting footage of people when they're at the most desperate. People being evicted, people who are going bankrupt, people who are having their cars repossessed. Yeah, real good entertainment. And even when um, Channel 5 was taken to court and paid out thousands to, to... Well, there was one guy who was... I think he was in his bedroom, broken leg or broken foot in his bedroom when this team went into his house and, and was just filming all over the place. And it was, it was just wrong. There was all sorts of privacy issues. But after that had finished, um, the, the two, guy, two of the guys that actually worked for the company then tried to sue the company. So all a great bunch of people here that this uh, this woman wants to protect. Mm. Let me correct you on that then. Private dwelling is completely different with privacy laws and business law. So the fact that you've used the, you've compared the two is completely wrong. So you don't think this is some form of harassment to you standing outside? Oh well, I don't think that's silly. All right, listen. I told you what we're that's very do. silly. We're now going to call the police. Okay. Tell them you're a problem. You deal with that. Okay, no problem. You're Thank the guy you. Who does the, uh, the ones local. I do what's do, the, I, the drone photos local. I do, I do, I do like the well. I've done the sewage works and that, and I've done, I've done it around here, but at night because you get all the light. The, the camera is a lot more sensitive now. All I the, the sensor is uh, better. The local Facebook group. But, yeah. Uh, did you do one the other day over there? Looking down over Sandy Moor over the new development. You know what? That might not have been me. You know, it's someone else. I can't believe it. You mean somebody's somebody's grabbed there's the someone, fame? Someone doing a couple around there. Yeah. I've done some of the nature reserves. Yeah. Um, and I've done Shell um, SR because the the argon and the neon and the tungsten lights they can get picked up a lot easier now from yeah. this this really good sensor on, on this drone. Um, this has just come back today, so I'm testing it out today. Thank you. You I'm look a, like a game designer. You look like I'm, a bit of a geek. I'm, I'm a programmer. Oh, are you? Yeah, I, you look like the only problem clever is guy. We've had a couple of people, usually journalists, which All is right. why we get so defensive because we see them up there All right. and they're down here with the camera. Okay, that's no right, problem. So whenever we see it, usually someone spots it and says, can you go and have a look right. at that? So we just go up and talk to you. That's not a problem. I, I, I wasn't against you talking to me. All I'm against is when you start telling me what I can and can't do, which is, it's my right to do. I'm not breaking any law. I'm in public. The fact that you come out and said I'm harassing you and it's the same as standing outside your house and photographing, that's really silly, that. That, that, that's, there's no need for that type of language. I've taken a nice photo of this. Send it over. Well, oh no, no, you get challenged all the time. Um, probably for the last 40 years. Okay, good to speak to you, bye now. I honestly think that most of the people that work at this firm will just be embarrassed at the way that these two have behaved. I mean, you know, these you've probably got guys there that go out and photograph themselves and maybe they already bear the scars of the behaviours of these two people because these two, believe it or not, are actually senior management. <laughs> That's right. I actually feel quite depressed the way that the we're going as a community. You know, I think that we can just see something we don't like and whether we know it's against the law or not just march out in such an entitled way and demand that people stop it it's just quite uh, depressing how we ar arrived at this this point you know what happened to us what where where did we go wrong i remember as a kid that if somebody turned up in the close of the camera you just wanted to be on the photograph and yet now it's just, it's just a threat. It's like, it's like you're seeing a predator or, or um, you know, you just see suspicion in everything.